I'm saying great food, Morton Steakhouse is a must. Today we have with us General Manager Bob Hoppenrath, along with Executive Chef James Dawson. Guys, welcome back to River City Live. We love having you. And really, there's a lot of events coming up, like the big game coming up, where this would be the perfect cuisine and a great place to watch it. And also, as we mentioned, Valentine's Day. So again, welcome to the show. Thank you. Let's start with you. So what do we have here exactly? Well, we were talking about ideas for the big game, things that you can find at Morton's. We brought some of our uh, famous uh, filet sandwiches. We've got our house-made chips with blue cheese dip and our jumbo lub crab, shrimp, and artichoke dip as well. We talked about uh, dips in the last segment, so we wanted to uh, talk about those things. And James is actually going to make some of our filet sandwiches as well, starting with a whole tenderloin that yep. uh, James has prepared for us. So. Yep. It's a whole prime beef, beef tenderloin. Uh, we take that, and we would take the, um, of course, the silver skin and whatnot off. Uh, we grill it, grill it up, slice it nice and thin, and we put it on uh, our buns. You there. do slice it very thin. <laughs> yeah. is that, yes, but is you that, know what I like though? You layer it up. Yeah. <laughs> no, but when I see you slice it so thin, is that a testament to how tender it is or how sharp your knife is or a good combination? Or yeah, your color is still a little bit of both. Yes, okay. absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. It's almost see-through how, how you're able to do that. It's so tender. And I always ah. ask this because people have like a different interpretation. What would you call that? Is that medium right now, how you have the meat prepared? This would, this would be a medium rare. Is a that nice, what you recommend? Nice medium rare, yes. A medium rare would be perfect. Because if you cook it too much, you're probably losing some of the flavor. Absolutely, yeah. You want to make sure you save all that flavor. Now, you're having a, a special day. You are open, obviously, on yeah. the day of the game. People can come in, and while they can certainly try to emulate this at home, <laughs> Uh, a, a better, probably in my case, tastier option would be to come and visit, watch the game, and enjoy a little bit of all of this, right? They could certainly do that. Uh, we, we provide these things in our bar. We've got big screen TVs so they can watch the big game and enjoy a great filet sandwich, chips, and several of yeah. our other uh, choices as well. And you, another option could be carrying out as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's one of the things I think, when it comes to the experts, especially you know when you're cooking up steak, maybe that's what at home you outsource to, and then you could just pick up other things. Oh, and, yeah. You know, yeah, so this is a great way to go. Yes. Well, we'd, we'd love to do the work for you as well so that people can relax and enjoy the game. Right. And then what's actually in the sauce over here? Because I think that's a, a really strong component of the sandwich. Absolutely. That's a, a mayo, um, you know, different herbs and seasonings. Of course, uh, a lot of uh, Dijon mustard. You know, it's in the, in the mayo mustard sauce. That gives it a lot of flavor. And yeah. I noticed you have wine over here. You know, one of the things that I think it's always good to know is pairing up wine. Mm -hmm. So is that brought, especially to pair up with this, what you bought? Well, you know, red meat certainly goes with, uh, with red wine. And um, being a steakhouse, when steak is your last name, you certainly <laughs> want to uh, focus in on that. So we brought a couple of great selections. Um, Morton's has partnered up nationally with uh, Stag's Leap, and we've got a great... Uh, uh, wine dinner coming up in the beginning of March, so we wanted to uh, talk about that a little as well. But uh, there's really no rules when it comes to wine. If you like it and it tastes good, you can certainly enjoy it, and I can certainly help do that for you as well. That is great. And then you're talking about an event in March, but Valentine's Day, again, what are we, a couple weeks out? Wrong yeah. So it's a perfect atmosphere for a date night. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's one of the things that we do. We want to set the table for you. People have high expectations. We see people on special days like Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve, and we want to make sure they have a great time. And, so uh, should they make their reservations now? I uh, would you know, a lot of people will make their reservations the day after the holiday for really? the following year. <laughs> what if you didn't do that? I'm just speaking for a friend at home. <laughs> well, we can always feed you. It may not be exactly the time that you're looking for. Sure. We're all, we open up at 4 o'clock on Valentine's Day. We have early reservations. We have late reservations. And if you didn't plan last minute, you can certainly give us a call. We have excellent availability the day before, the day after, and we can certainly help ease the sting a little bit if you didn't get that reservation you Beautiful were hoping patio. for. I love Absolutely. that. Ease the sting a little bit. I know. Make everything all right. If you want to learn more, you go to the website mortons.com slash jacksville gentlemen thank you so much we appreciate it it's thank our you. pleasure to be here we're going to take a little walk why don't you all